So, what's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> uh, so today's officially the first day of the new season. So, congrats, we all made it. Um, it's been a little quiet in terms of New England news. Obviously, there has been one major signing yesterday, which was two. Yeah, it started Monday. Today, I guess it was COVID got me forgetting what days is what. So. So yesterday, early in the morning, we signed Hunter Henry. Um, it was probably the number one tight end in the market. Uh, and then Monday, we signed John New Smith, who was second tight end in the market. No big name receivers have been signed yet. The biggest name right now that's going around everywhere is Kenny Galladay. Being with the Giants and the Bengals have made an offer. All I'm hearing so far on Twitter, and yeah, just pretty much just Twitter, um, it, People are trying to get him on a one-year prove-it deal because of his injuries last season. I didn't think the injury was that crazy. I thought they it was minor and they just shut him down because why would you play him? When it made sense to me. But if you want to see if he can stay healthy for a full season and then negotiate afterwards, I guess I can see teams trying to do that. But I mean that's a risk you're gonna you know other teams are taking. But uh, nothing else going on right now in terms of like New England news. The only thing is the Sean Watson rumors. No idea what's happening with that. And then the Falcons restructured Matt Ryan's contract, which I I think that that's just a sign that they're not going to take a quarterback this draft. They might wait another year or two before going quarterback to replace Matt Ryan, which opens up the possibility of them trading back for more assets for their number. Now, there aren't many quarterback needy teams at the moment, like that are desperate, like New England, Carolina, Washington, uh, maybe San Francisco. But those are the only teams I can think of that desperately need a quarterback that can actually trade up. So, who's going to actually trade up to four? You know, remains to be seen. A lot of t I've I heard something. Um, that the Jets might trade back from two. I don't think they'll trade the second pick to the Patriots because why would you trade within your division? Uh, that's not going to happen, so that's off the table for New England. But whether we find, like, let's say, for instance, we get Deshaun Watson, we draft a quarterback in this draft, we're going to be fine for years to come. Um, let me just show you this. Bam! So this is the age of everybody that we just picked up. Now imagine adding a quarterback and quarterback under rookie contract to this core while cap increases. John o. Smith, 25. Hunter Henry, 26. Aguilar and Trent Brown, 27. Gacho. Gacho, I think that's it. 26. Jalen Mills, 26. Bourne, 25. Judon, 28. Wise, 26. These are all very young. Even Aguilar, 27. Like, he still showed he had breakout speed. Right? I didn't realize that was still up there. Um, but yeah, he still showed that he could, you know, play on the outside. Like, he's the outside deep threat. And if we get a number one receiver, which I'm hoping we get, you know, whether it's Curtis Samuel or we get it in the draft, those guys, Curtis Samuel or somebody in the draft, that's even younger than what I, what I have here. So... Wait, we're pretty much set. We just need the quarterback of the future, and it's probably it's it's not Cam. Um, I seen somewhere where the Patriots are trying to get um Gardner Minshew. Uh, I mean, maybe to compete, like you know, in a competition with a rookie and Cam Newton, fine. But none of those guys. Are, I don't see them being the guy. So regardless, I, I would love to trade up for Trey Lance. I think that's more realistic, and I think that's a better option than going all in on a Deshaun Watson. I would love that too. Believe me, I'd be I'd be ecstatic. I've been scrolling, refreshing Twitter all day, hoping that move happened. But I, I'm cool with Trey Lance too. So that's where I'm at with that. You can let me know down below what you think, Watson or the draft. Let me know. Like I said, I'm in on Trey Lance. I, I, I bought, like, I convinced myself I'm in on Trey Lance, right? I know Watson is a proven player, but we're going to have to give up a lot. So, at this point, is it worth it? Let me know. 
can we go and get Deshaun Watson? Is it worth it? Yeah. But it's like, now where are we going to get our number one receiver at? Right? So we have a two, a three, and a slot receiver in Bourne, Myers, and Aguilar. We don't have our number one. Our number one's going to have to be Hunter Henry and John Smith, you know, with the system that we have. We don't actually have our number one. Edelman is, he's on his way out with all his injuries, fortunately. And for his safety, I would prefer if he doesn't play that many. Gotta look out for player safety. So there's that. What else we got here? So there's a lot of guys that don't like the Nelson Aguilar signing, which is fine. Um, 13 mil season is a lot, and we probably could have used that on one of the top guys. Because like I said, Galladay is either going to the Giants or the Bengals, which is the bigger, um, not the bigger teams, but the two teams that are on him the most. And we probably could have used that on him. Maybe Curtis Samuel. But like I said, you got somebody like Corey Davis who signed $27 million guaranteed with the Jets, right? For that $27 million guaranteed, we went and got Aguilar and um, Kendrick Bourne. So we got depth instead of just one person, right? So I have enough cap for Deshaun Watson or, you know, one of these big, big, big name receivers. There's still Juju out there. There's still moves to be made. Like, secrets aren't done. I think everybody's just waiting for uh, Gallup data sign. But a lot of people were saying that the Aguilar signing might be a little bit overpaid because he drops too many passes. So this tweet came on. I found this tweet. NFL wide receivers with more drops than Ag- Nelson Aguilar in 2020. You got Deontay Johnson, Jerry Judy, Stephen Lamb, Marvin Jones, Nicole Hardman, Terry Kill, J. Metcalf, and Darius Slayton. A lot of names with, with more drops than Nelson Aguilar. And then I tweeted... What if I told you that Aguilar had more yards per reception than all of these guys? He did. He was second in yards per reception. I forgot who was number one. He's not on this list. But still, I don't cons- like. You can't say this is overpaid, in my opinion. I don't like. I, honestly, I don't think it is because it's only seven mil. On like, it's only seven mil cap hit this season. If we don't, if we don't, if we cut him next year. Where we um, we don't even take um, what's the proper wording? We save ten mil in cap if we cut him next year. So this could probably be a one year seven mil deal. Well, one year seven mil and then whatever's guaranteed. So like, there's that. Because if we keep him, then I think he's getting, like I said, the ten mil. So, so if he's a de- like, he can still be a solid number two. So I don't know. People are just. You know, because if we let him go next year, save 10 mil of the 20. Uh, but all in all, this is the total cap hit of everybody that we got. And I can click on it. There we go. New Patriots salary cap numbers. Matt Judon. This is just this season. This is just a cap hit for this season. Matt Judon, 6.3 mil. And 5.4. Remember, remember it was a one-year 14 mil deal. 14 million. Everybody shit themselves right away without knowing the numbers. This is what they're doing this year again. Saying we overpaid. Meanwhile, this is the cap hits. It's spread out pretty nicely. So Cam, 5.4. Janu, under 5. Jalen Mills, under 4.5. Gacho, 4. Wise, 3.25. And Kendrick Bourne, 3.2 mil. Those are the cap hits this year. Uh, their guarantees is $31 million in three years. Judon is $30 million two, in two, two years. Beatrice Wise is $10 mil. So yeah, those are their guarantees. They're guaranteed 94.5. The numbers don't include these, but we already found out that no Snagular is $7 mil this year. So he's actually at the top here. Still not bad. And shout out to... Uh, let me find his... Shout out to this guy. Where is he? Cap space. This is, he's, he's constantly calculating how much cap the Patriots have. So shout outs to his ad is Pat's cap. And top 25 Boston.com best sports follow. I mean, he literally is one of the best, best follows uh, on Twitter for like Patriots news. But this is how much we have in cap space left. And he's constantly updating. Let me find his most tweet on how he usually tweets. Um, come on, man. Where are your tweets at? 
but he's constantly showing us things like this, right? Matt Judon's deal, and then it goes into detail. Um, not when I want to find it, I can't find it. Okay, my pat, my Patriot salary cap space number after such and such deals. But then he says, does not account for Trent Brown, Bethel, Cody Davis, or Karras because those details aren't announced yet. So currently, with the information given, we still have $29.5 million in cap space. So we can still go out and make moves. We, I think he, he said we need to keep a little under three mil for the rookies in the draft, which is fine. So we still got basically 26 mil to spend until we find out the information of these moves. Um, those, that, those numbers just aren't out yet for him to calculate all so and he doesn't estimate he always says and he always says i, I don't estimate or whatever the case is. so his numbers are always spot on so like i said for patriots salary cap news or just anything new england patriots related he's the go-to follow um take a quick scroll through twitter i don't think anything happened oh shit Curtis Samuel, three years, thirty-four and a half million. Wow. 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 Yo, we couldn't do that. Elichek, bro, what are you doing? Three years, thirty-four and a half million. That is ten mil a season. Okay, so Nelson Aguilar is. Okay. I wonder how much is guaranteed though. I wonder how much is guaranteed. Three years, thirty-four. Nine, yeah, we could have done that. That's that's eleven mil a season. We could have done that. Damn, that's crazy. It's unfortunate we could have done that. Uh, what else is here? And then now it's looking like Galladay to the Giants, probably. Washington in free agency. Fitz, Samuel, and William Jackson. Oh, I forgot about this. You know, I, I don't know who is trying to trade for Nikhil Harry and what they're offering. I don't know anything, any actual news about who is trying to trade for Nikhil Harry and for what. I don't know anything about that. Uh, that's all I'm hearing. All I'm seeing is this, and then just no actual news behind it. Yeah, see, eleven and a half mil a season. That was right. Okay, so like I said, if like I said in one of my other videos, if we don't get Curtis Samuel, I want Amari Rogers. I feel like they play the same exact way, and we can use Amari Rogers the way we would have used Curtis Samuel. You know, basically the same way we used uh, Cordero Patterson, right? Wide receiver screens out of the backfield. Uh, punt return. Uh, I know Kendrick Bourne could be used the same way, but I feel like Amari Rogers might be a little faster, shiftier from what I've seen in film. You know, just a little highlight video that I watched and how he was used in college. Wide receiver screens, reverses, um, out of the backfield, punt returning. Like, There's a lot of use with Amari Rogers. I don't see anything else. This is the biggest news so far. That is a great fit. Amari Rogers it is. See? Exactly. Thinking the same way. See? Thinking the same way. Um, yeah, that's all I see here is Curtis Samuel. Ryan Fitzpatrick, I mean, that's great. Now they just, as well, they need a quarterback of the future. I can see them trying to get a quarterback in the draft, too. I don't see how they could trade up. I don't know what assets they have, because I don't pay attention to Washington like that. I am a fan. Like, I love uh, McLaurin, McKissick, Logan Thomas. Like, I'm a fan. I, I love their defense. Um, Ron Rivera, and then you got um, your defensive coordinator. I always forget his name. 
Um, he was the coach of Oakland, defensive coordinator of Denver. I always forget. Like his, his, uh, Jack Del Rio. There we go. Um, I think that's it. That is all the news. The big news, at least. <sighs> Come on, like, why did this pop up in the video? Oh my god. If big news like this ever happened mid video, I don't know how I would react. Just letting out, I wouldn't. I do not know how I would react. Just, just letting out. Here's why a trade would work. I don't need to know why it would work. I just need it to happen. I need it to happen. Yeah. See, like this is beautiful. You try to trade for somebody, they don't trade. They don't trade him to you, but you get him anyway. For nothing. Like, you don't have to give up anything. Seahawks signed Gerald Everett. I didn't want him. That's fine. I think, I think we're good on tight ends. I think we're good. Unless we get Tony for added depth. Like, for extremely cheap. Like, this is cheap. One year, six mil. Like, that's cheap. But, I did, we didn't need him. Um, is a Trey Lance away from taking over the NFC East for years to come? No. Or not. You don't need Trey Lance. You got, you, you got Heineke. Patriots come first. I will like other teams, but the Patriots come first. This is all I'm seeing now. Curtis Samuel. With another former Panther. Yeah, that, you know. I forgot about that. I didn't think about that, actually. Yeah, I really did not think about uniting with another former Panther. Like, that did not come to mind. All right, let's refresh one more time. Um, he's a Washington. I don't know. There's still some people. I don't know what teams they root. I might just tweet out. Must have liked like Aguilar more than Sam. I don't know. Oh shit! I didn't know that. I, I see, like, informa I love learning information like this because I found out um, Colt Beasley and Emmanuel Sanders were teammates in college. I didn't know that. I, I love learning stuff like that. I did not know that. Um, but, yeah, it looks like that is in the last hour. Matt Prater to Arizona, Everett. Ooh, okay, cut, cut. Okay. All right, so all, that, all that's left is Juju, Kenny Galladay. But there was a – hold on. I send him. Juju Galladay and Will Fuller. Okay, I know I was missing a name. So yeah, that is all I have now. Um, I'm gonna love watching this offense. Like Fitz Magic, Curtis Samuel, McLaurin. I'm a I'm a fan, even more of a fan than I was. Um, but one one last piece of news. Before I go, I know I mentioned last week I was going to have another guest on another guest here live. It's tomorrow, and I'll be having Kevin Tain with me. Like I covered last time, he covers and making Patriots, FC, you know, full press Patriots, writes for them. Um, this is his last article. Is Nikhil Harry on the path to be the next Aaron Dobson? I think he's worse. We actually had use for Aaron Dobson. Like, it's not even close. Um, he's obviously ex just as excited as I am with these, with these moves. So if you have any questions for him, for me, for both of us tomorrow, ask down below, and we will answer them. Or come when we're live, and you can ask away. Like I said, tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern. And I'm excited. I was a little nervous last time when I had um, Pat. Where is he at? I'm supposed to... Where is he? There you go. I had him last time. Great guy. I was a little nervous. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm going to leave his Twitter in the description below. You know? Um, uh, but yeah, that's about it. Like I said, I love I love the signings. I love the two tight ends. I love the two receivers we got for added depth. 
speed on the outside with Ag Agalor, um, toughness up the middle with uh, Bourne, two tight ends, John o. Smith, the Aaron Hernandez role, Hunter Henry. He's not Gronk, but he's gonna ha he's gonna you know those are the shoes that he's filling. And is he skilled? Yeah, he's skilled. You know, not gonna say that he's not good. You know, I wanted him too, but I feel like Janu had a better skill set. But we got them both. But um, yeah, you know, that's it for now.